This week's parasha, parasha Truma, discusses the construction of the tabernacle in the desert. It is the the first dwelling place for our Kodesh Baruch Hashem in our physical world. Afterwards, it becomes the holy temple in Yerushalayim. But the original dwelling place is the tabernacle. It is described and commanded in this week's Torah reading. In the beginning of the parasha, it says, "Va'asuli mikdash v'shachanti betocham." They shall make for me a sanctuary, and I will dwell in their midst. The word in their midst actually reads in their midst, not in its midst, not in the sanctuary itself. The sages make a, a note of this. It doesn't say that the, that the divine presence will dwell in the physical sanctuary, even though obviously that is the, that is the intention. But it says, in their midst, implying that the ultimate purpose of the temple, and the sanctuary, the tabernacle, is that Hashem's presence dwells in our midst, in their midst, of the Jewish people, in the heart of every single Jew, or every single human being actually that goes to, to worship God, Hashem, in the, in the sanctuary, in His sanctuary. One of the ways that it is explained that the presence of God, what does it mean that, that we experience God's presence in the physical temple and also in our hearts and in our, in our souls and our beings? The world was created in its natural order, Breshit Baray Lokimita Shamaivitaalat in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, and that name of God that is used at Okim, its Gematri equals nature. You know, the God created nature, God created the laws of nature, and God desires that the laws of nature remain intact and rule reality as we know it. But at the same time, just like there's the, the natural order, there is also this supernatural. The supernatural is not intended to, to negate nature necessarily. Sometimes it does, but in general, no. It's just that we have to know that there is something that transcends our normative consciousness of nature per se. And that is the supernatural. That We, we call that miracles. The very beginning of belief of faith in God is to believe in the existence, the presence, and the possibility of miracles. And not just possibility, but actually miracles are continuously taking place in our lives. To experience God's presence is to experience God's miracle. In the temple, in the sanctuary, in the tabernacle, there were three different levels of miracle that continuously occurred. And this is the simple meaning of creating a sanctuary for God and having his presence dwell within it and within us. is to be able to experience the miraculous dimension of, of the world, of the universe. The first and the greatest, the highest miracle was the miracle that took place in the Holy of Holies, the innermost chamber of the temple, of the tabernacle. There, there was the Holy Ark with the cherubim above the Ark. And even though one measured the measures of the Ark from both sides of the Holy of Holies, as the measurements are mentioned and, 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 and spelled out exactly in the Torah, nonetheless, the the experience was such that the ark itself, with the cherubim above it, did not take place, did not take up place, physical place. They were in a certain way, they were there, it was present, you could see them, but if the whole width, we'll say, of the, of the Holy of Holies in the, in the tabernacle was uh, 10 cubits, there was five cubits from one wall to one side of the ark, and five cubits from the other wall to the other side of the ark, and the ark was there, two and a half cubits in the middle, but we already took up all of the 10 cubits. So it means that those two and a half cubits were not in space. They were there and they weren't there. That's called makoma aron eno minamida, that the 
place of the Aron with the cherubim on top of it was not part of the measurement of the physical measurement. This is a totally super rational and super logical, irrational, illogical miracle that took place continuously, a continuous state within the Holy of Holies. Then on the outer altar of the, of the tabernacle, we brought fire from below. It's called Minahed Yod. Our mundane fire we brought to, to, to fire the, the sacrifices on the altar. But at the same time that we brought our fire, a divine fire descended from heaven. A fire simply came down when we fulfilled Hashem's will. That fire appeared as a in the form of a of a lion that came down to consume our sacrifices. So this was something was visible that a fire descended from heaven, as our fire that we brought ascended from earth on the altar. Then in the ethics of the Father in Perkei Avot, were taught that there were ten continual miracles that took place. These miracles were miracles like the rain did not, did not put out the fire on the altar. Snakes and scorpions did not harm anyone in the city of Jerusalem. No one said that I don't have room to sleep in Jerusalem. These are, it's a different level of miracles. How do we understand these three different levels of miracles, which is three different experiences of Hashem dwelling within us in the temple? This corresponds to one of the most basic understandings, and uh, we'll call it a model of the Baal Shem Tov, that reality has three dimensions, three most general dimensions to it, it's called worlds and souls and divinity, the essence of divinity. The fact that nature we'll call it bowed down in a certain way and accommodated itself with will sh shown a, a pleasant and a shining and happy, friendly face to all of the people that came to celebrate and to worship Hashem in the temple. Those are the 10 miracles that took place. That is the supernatural becoming part of nature itself, that nature itself aided and helped and once more, as it, as it were, was friendly towards everything that was taking place in the context of the worship of Shem and the Temple. The fact that our fire goes up and then a divine fire descends, that's the that is the experience of the supernatural, of the miracle in our, the service of the soul, in the inner service of the soul. That we come to God with our desire, and then we feel that God descends to us with his, his call, it's called the sealing of truth. That if we love God, God gives us the true, the essential love of him, but it descends from above on our attempt to love him from below. That is the way it's described in, in Hasidut. But finally, the experience of the, of the Holy of Holies, that something is in space and it's not in space, means that we're above. There's an experience of above time and space altogether. That is the miracle at the level of pure divinity. In our continued, once more, it says that Hashem wants to dwell in armies, not just in the temple means that all of these three levels of miracle of supernatural we have to experience in our lives. How do we experience them? We experience in Torah, which is the study of the Torah, in Tefillah, our prayer to Hashem, and in our performance of mitzvot, of His commandments. In Torah, a person that is really devoted and connected in his study of the Torah and his contemplation of the secrets of the Torah, he is above time and space. He is at the level of the ark of the of the tablets of the covenant, which are the origin of the Torah. In the ark was also the Sefer Torah that Moshe Rabbeinu wrote himself. So the level of Torah is that experience of just transcending the limitations of space and time, which is miracle at the level of pure divinity. 
It's not the level of soul. The Torah and Hashem are one. When we become one with the Torah, we become one with Hashem. The altar of the sacrifice is our prayer to Hashem. As we said before, in our prayer to Hashem, we, we ignite the fire of our soul in our love and our passion for our Kodesh Baruch And Hashem answers us by making that passion true. That is the fire that descends from heaven. And that experience is the experience of prayer. But the fact that nature itself shows its friendly face to help us in everything that we do in, in our lives, especially in our will to do more and more mitzvot, good deeds in our lives, that is the service of, of the Tariyag, of the 613 mitzvot of the Torah, which were given to us in order to serve, uh, serve our Kodesh Baruch every moment of our lives. And the Torah promises that if we serve Hashem, im telecho, then the rain will come, and all of the physical things, all of nature will, ser- will serve us, will serve the purpose and the goal of serving Hashem. So these are the three levels of miracle of the supernatural that we bring into our midst by constructing a sanctuary for HaKadosh Baruch on earth.